Today we are going to show you the best mesh Wi-Fi 6E routers you can buy right now. We have analyzed the market and listed these 5 best mesh Wi-Fi 6E routers for you. For more amazing tech product reviews and suggestions please subscribe to our channel. We will try our best to present you with the best tech products that you can buy now. Products links in the description box. In this video, we'll be covering mesh Wi-Fi 6E routers, including what they are, why you may want to choose them, and some of the best options out there. Number 5 Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro 6E The Nest Pro is a Wi-Fi 6E router with three bands, one 2.4 GHz, one 5 GHz, and one 6 GHz. The 6 GHz band is new and provides a dedicated backhaul to turn multiple Nest Pro units into a mesh network. It also offers a faster, uncluttered band for the few 6 GHz capable devices. Each Nest Pro router can support up to 100 devices, and the system theoretically reaches a maximum speed of 2400 megabits per second on 5 GHz and 6 GHz, and below 600 megabits per second on 2.4 GHz. However, in practice, you can only connect to one band at a time, and the maximum speed on any single device is not close to the theoretical maximum. The Nest Pro's Ethernet ports are capped at 1 gigabit, so if you have multi-gig internet, you'll be wasting money. Upgrading from a Nest Wi-Fi or another Wi-Fi 5 router will provide users with both Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E, plus the option to switch on 160 MHz channels on the 5 GHz band, which can improve throughput at the risk of interference from neighboring signals. The Nest Wi-Fi Pro is available in sets of 1, 2, or 3 units, and Google claims one router covers up to 2,200 square feet. In a 2,200-square-foot, 2 two-story split-level home with over 120 devices connected to the Wi-Fi, one unit doesn't provide sufficient coverage. When a single unit was set up in the living room next to the modem, upstairs room saw speeds as low as 12 megabits per second down and 7 megabits per second upstream, and 64 sixteenths in the office, which is just down the hall from the main router. Adding one node in the office and one upstairs to cover the bedrooms resulted in more reliable speeds from the Xfinity service. The Nest Pro provided a strong, consistent Wi-Fi signal across the house, enabling streaming of 4K video, VR gaming on an Oculus Quest 2, and reliable laptop work in every room. The Nest Pro also efficiently supported my son's online gaming habits on a wired PC in the furthest flung bedroom. Additionally, the Nest Pro provided reliable connectivity to over 100 smart home devices, including Nest devices. In comparison to other routers tested, the Nest Pro had a more consistent speed throughout the house, but the Aero Pro 6E had a faster average single device throughput from the main router. The Aeros also performed better when devices were closer to the nodes. When connected via Ethernet to the upstairs node, the wired PC averaged 228 megabits per second on the Nest versus 366 megabits per second on the Aeros. The Nest had higher latency, likely due to the 6 GHz backhaul. The Aero systems can dynamically adjust their backhaul band depending on signal strength, but the Nest systems are stuck on 6 GHz unless a wired backhaul is used. Number 4 The Asus Zen Wi-Fi ET8 is a Wi-Fi router and satellite system that comes in a demure white color. The router and satellite units have heavily rounded walls and side cooling vents and occupy 6.6 x 6.3 x 2.9 inches, half the size of Orbi units. The ET8 is easy to hide on a bookshelf, desk, or kitchen counter and looks good, blending into the background. Unlike Netgear, it has a single small LED bar that glows white when it's online and working. The ET8 router creates networks that use the 2.4, 5, and 6 GHz Wi-Fi bands. The ET8 has a Broadcom Wi-Fi chip to move data back and forth, a 1.5 GHz quad-core processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, and 256 megabytes of flash storage space for firmware and settings. It has six amplified antennas and uses the 6 GHz band to send data from its satellites to the router. In testing, the network was able to send 1.232 gigabits per second of data from 15 feet away from the host router with no connected satellites. This speed is 18% faster than the Orbi router and faster than Wi-Fi 6 mesh networks. However, the throughput fell off quickly as the test system moved away from the router. At 50 feet, the ET8 moved 287.7 megabits per second, which is second best compared to the Atlas Max 6E. At 75 feet away from the router, the network performed surprisingly well, doling out 151.8 megabits per second. The ET8 has a 100-foot range, beating the Orbi and Atlas Max 6E. 
Its ability to send a strong signal across 25 feet and through a wall with 531.1 megabits per second available, puts it on par with the Orbi. The ET-8 satellite was able to grab 434.0 megabits per second of data from 40 feet away down a hallway, more than four times the Atlas Max 6E and twice the Orbi's throughput. Adding a second satellite would have eliminated slow spots. During testing, the system was able to move more than enough data to pass an informal network saturation test with audio and video streams coming through without any skips or dropouts. Despite its high performance, the ET-8 is a miser when it comes to power use with the router and satellite consuming 8.6 and 6.6 watts, respectively. That adds up to an annual estimate for electricity bills of $18.60, a fraction of the cost of the Orbi and Atlas Max 6E. Number 3 The Aero Pro 6E is an advanced router system that includes identical units that can function as either a host router or a satellite, depending on your needs. Each unit features a rubber bottom with soft feet, making it easy to place them on any surface without worrying about scratches or damage. Additionally, there is a single LED light on the front of each unit that can be turned off if you prefer a darker environment. The Aero Pro 6E uses Qualcomm's Immersive Home 316 platform and incorporates the IPQ5018 Wi-Fi chip, which allows it to provide six streams of data over the 2.4, 5, and 6 GHz bands. It has six Wi-Fi antennas and a dual-core 1 GHz processor, 1 GB of RAM, and 4 GB of storage space. This powerful hardware enables the Aero Pro 6E to support up to 100 clients and access wide 160 MHz channels. In testing, the Aero Pro 6E router delivered 1.144 gigabits per second of throughput at 15 feet and provided reliable Wi-Fi coverage throughout the author's house, thanks to its three units. However, at 50 feet away, the throughput dropped to 173.3 megabits per second. In comparison, the Deco XE75 provided more than double the throughput of the Aero Pro 6E at 75 feet. Unfortunately, the Aero Pro 6E lost contact at 85 feet, which is a possible downside of this system. During a saturation test, the Aero Pro 6E devices used 16.8 watts of power, which is slightly higher than its predecessor. Based on the national average of 14 cents per kilowatt hour, the three pack should cost about $61.80 a year to use. Despite the slightly higher cost, the Aero Pro 6E is a top-of-the-line router system that provides reliable, fast, and secure Wi-Fi coverage for your entire home or office. Number 2 The TP-Link Deco XE75 is a Wi-Fi 6E mesh system that features a cylindrical column design for its antennas and heat dissipation. Despite its simplistic look, the system can blend into any decor of your home and has a compact size that can be placed even on a desktop, kitchen counter, or bookshelf. It has four amplified antennas and uses AI to steer data to the least congested channel, with three networks created using the 2.4 dash, 5 dash, and 6 GHz bands. However, it lacks the Orbi's second 5 GHz LAN for sending data from the satellites to the host router. In real-world testing, the Deco XE75 managed to push 1.220 gigabits per second to the receiving system 15 feet away, which is better than the Linksys Atlas Max 6E and the Netgear Orbi kit. But it's only half the throughput potential that the Netgear Nighthawk can deliver, which retains the top spot with a maximum bandwidth of 2.396 gigabits per second. The throughput fell off quickly at 25 to 30 feet, and the router could send 299.1 megabits per second at 50 feet. But with 75 feet between the host router and the receiving system, it delivered 318.5 megabits per second, which is more than three times the throughput available from the Orbi at the same distance. The Deco XE75 excelled at sending data across a 25-foot room and through a wall, with 990.1 megabits per second available, just short of the 1.008 gigabits per second that the Linksys Atlas Max 6E recorded. It remained online at 90 feet with 23.7 megabits per second available, just enough for a couple of HD video streams. The Deco XE75 also passed the network saturation test with flying colors, where multiple devices were used simultaneously without any lag. The system has a single LED at the base that glows green when everything is okay, but when it's red, it needs attention. The Deco XE75 units are powered by a Broadcom Wi-Fi chip and a 1.7 GHz quad-core processor. It's easy to set up and use, and it works well for a variety of uses, from emails to online gaming, video calls, and large downloads. It also kept its cool, never getting above 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and used a modest 7.5 watts when powered on.
the network should cost about $18.40 per year to run, comparable to the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi ET8's $18.60. Number 1 Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6E Netgear has introduced the Orbi RBKE963 kit, which brings mesh routing into the high-performance Wi-Fi 6E era. The kit comprises a router and satellites, all of which have Orbi's distinctive rounded tower shape, but are much larger than other mesh devices. The units are powered by Qualcomm's Top Shelf Networking Pro 1610 chipset and a 2.2GHz quad-core processor. The Orbi RBKE963 mesh system creates four individual networks, one in the 2.4 GHz band, two in the 5 GHz band, and a top-performing 6 GHz network. Each unit contains a dozen amplified antennas for the strongest possible signal. The Orbi RBKE963 mesh system performed well in a 100-year-old home, easily filling the 3,500-square-foot structure with data. The Orbi RBKE963's available bandwidth was less than half that of its older and faster, and cheaper, cousin, the Netgear Nighthawk RAX 500 gaming router. The throughput dropped off quickly with distance as the 6 GHz band's range ran out and the 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands took over. The RBKE963 stayed online at 90 feet, 27 meters, delivering 39.9 megabits per second, and had a maximum line of sight range of 95 feet, 29 meters. During a week of heavy use, the Orbi RBKE963 kept its cool and never got above 94 degrees Fahrenheit, 34 degrees centigrade. The video streams were flawless throughout, without any artifacts, skips, or freeze-ups. As it moved data back and forth, the base router consumed 17.4 watts of power, while the satellites each used 13.4 watts. If you pay the national average of 14 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity, this adds up to $64 a year to bathe your home in Wi-Fi data. This is more than twice the cost of running an Orbi RBK852 mesh system, but the Orbi RBKE963 has an extra satellite and higher performance. All of the best mesh Wi-Fi 6E routers are on our list. Please click the thumbs up icon if you found this video to be helpful. Which mesh Wi-Fi 6E routers would you choose? Let us know what you think by leaving a remark below. Thank you for your time click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you found this video to be useful in any way so you won't miss any upcoming updates. All of you who viewed before that I hope to see you in the upcoming video.